personal finance PowerPoint presentation. Medigap, who is it for? Prepare to get financially fit by practicing personal finance. Insurance is part of our long-term risk mitigation strategy where we follow the adage of measure twice, cut once, put in a formal process in place, something like setting the goals, develop a plan to reach them, put the plan in action, review the results, repeat the process periodically. Most of this information can be found at Investopedia. Who needs Medigap insurance, which you can find online. Take a look at the references, resources, continue your research from there. This is by Tim Parker, updated December 20, 2021. In private Prior presentations, we've been talking about insurance in general, going to the medical insurance, which is a bit more complicated due to the complexity of the medical field and the laws and regulations related to it and the insurance of it. And now we're thinking about the Medigap insurance in conjunction with that overall insurance discussion. Who needs Medigap insurance? If you are covered by Medicare and are wondering whether you really need a Medicare supplemental insurance plan, I was wondering that. That's why I'm here. So let's talk about it. Also known as Medigap, you're not alone. I'm good. That's feel. I feel comfortable that people. There's other people out there that are feeling similar stuff that I am. That's great. The Medicare website contains hundreds of pages of information, few of which are easy reading. That's for sure. It's hard to get an answer to the big question. Why should anyone who has Medicare get Medigap plan? Below is our answer. So Medicare, obviously, you might most likely、uh, most people getting Medicare after they reach the age threshold to be receiving it. And now the question is, well, what kinds of Medicare's do I need? Do I need other insurance other than the Medicare? Do I need Medigap, Medicare Advantage, and so on and so forth? And the confusion spins and spins around in our noggin. So. What is Medigap? Medigap is a supplement to Medicare coverage. So, if you have Medicare, they might supplement it or add on in some way the Medigap. Depending on the type of coverage, Medigap policies are designed to provide more coverage for routine services Medicare does cover, and in some cases, all or part of the expenses Medicare does not cover, such as long-term care, vision, or dental coverage. And you want to be careful with these items here, especially the long-term care, to make sure that you've considered your options there. We've talked about in the past. Uh, the Medicaid and and long-term care insurance that could be a big one that you want to be considering. The purpose of a Medigap plan is to be reimbursed for the costs you pay directly out of your own pocket. These plans are offered by private insurance companies, so you'll have to do some comparison shopping to get the one that fits your needs and financial situation. Keep in mind that lettered plans. Uh, from each company have the same benefits. So in, in other words, the government kind of put some restrictions around it so that they can kind of have the letters in place, which should have the same benefits, so that we could see some standardization and more easily possibly do some comparisons. So that's according to a government mandate. So why buy more insurance then? So if you have Medicare, we've talked about different the different options within Medicare. Why possibly would you might need、uh, more insurance? As noted above, Medicare isn't a blanket insurance policy. This means it does it does have holes in it. Original Medicare, as the government calls what we now know as parts A and B. So if you hear the term original Medicare, we're typically thinking of A and B, which kind of kick in somewhat automatically. Although B, you want to you know sign up for what? But if you have been paying into the Social Security throughout. Uh, your working time, and Medicare prescription drug coverage—that's Part D, which we talked about in the past—pays for most of your expenses, but it's it's far from all of the costs you may face if you become seriously ill or get injured. Even routine services、uh, come with copayments and deductibles. This is where Medigap insurance kicks in. So when we think about just the normal insurance, you can kind of compare Medicare. The original Medicare, basically, to it, Part A and B, and somewhat, and Part D, for example, which still comes with the kind of terminology we talked about, the deductibles and the copayments、uh, that could be involved. So, Medicare deductible.、Uh, here are a few examples. If you are admitted to the hospital, you have 100% hospitalization coverage after the $1,484 annual deductible under Original Medicare Part A. As of 2021, 1,556 in 2022. So you've got the deductible、uh, that you you know you got to clear the deductible, for example, 
and that's a general kind of insurance term. That's the basic bed and board. However, uh, you may owe up to 20% of some other costs such as anesthe anesthesiologist's fees. So in other words, even after you go over the deductible, then sometimes there's gonna be some things that you might still have to pay a portion of after you've gone over the deductible. If you are in the hospital for more than 60 days, you have to pay $371 per day in 2021, $389 in 2022. There are similar co-payments for long stays in nursing facilities and hospices. Regular doctor visits and outpatient medical care may cost you too. Your deductible for 2021 is $203, 233 in 2022. But after that, you'll pay up to 20% of the Medicare approved amount for most doctor services. There's no upper limit. Medicare donut hole. Uh, prescription drugs can also eat into your budget if you need expense, expensive medications. You should know that uh, you can purchase standalone prescription coverage. That's part D in Medicare terminology. So in other words, if for the drugs, then you are typically looking at Medicare part D would be the first thing that would come to mind uh, with that, which is not part of the automatic kind of A and B, which A is kind of automatic and B you kind of would most likely be uh, put and sign up for D would be with the prescription drugs. So under the Affordable Care Act, the ACA, the prescription price donut hole has been closed each year, but it's not completely gone yet. A certain level, $4,130 in 2021, 4430 in 2022, uh, you enter the notorious donut hole in coverage that requires you to pay up to 25% of covered brand name and generic drug costs. When costs go above $6,550 in 2021, $7,050 in 2022, you pass through the donut hole and owe only 5% of the cost of drugs. So you've got that range where things get out of whack for some reason, the way it's currently set up, uh, paying more of it. So how does Medigap work? You may already know that Medicare Parts A and B comprise basic coverage, while Part D is an optional prescription drug plan you can buy from a private provider and attach to your Medicare. So A, B, and C, we're kind of getting that down. It's kind of like the basic chords in our music and our guitar playing strategy. We're going to say, okay, I got those chords down, but what is this new Medigap thing? And then you got Part C, also known as Medicare Advantage. That's the more complex combo cord that we got to put into place. Replaces all the basic government coverage with a private insurance plan. If you choose Part C, you do not need the Medigap plan. So then again, obviously you would be making a comparison and say, okay, do I want to just do the Part C kind of thing? Or do I want to do this Medigap uh, type of thing? Or do I need either of those added components? But if you go for the original Medicare plus Part D and do want a Medigap plan for more complete coverage, there are more letters to learn. So now we got some complex scales that are like, they're like minor scales and, and, and not just the pentatonic and whatnot. It's like, it's like a Dorian thing or something that we got to learn some crazy scale. So this time for plans rather than parts. So each letter represent a standard level of coverage. For Medigap plans, the most popular choices are F and G. Plan F and G, those are the standard of the more exotic uh, Medicare uh, uh, items. So Medicare plan F, this is the most comprehensive plan and has been the most popular choice for years. The average cost per month for the most popular Medigap F plan is approximately $326. As of January 1st, 2020, however, Plan F is no longer available to people newly eligible for Medicare. What? People who already have Plan F will be able to keep it, and people who were eligible for Medicare before 2020 but didn't have a Medigap plan may still be allowed to get Plan F if they wish. Then you've got the Medicare Plan G. This plan will likely replace Plan F popula in popularity now that they banned it. F was so such a cool one but now we've got plan g as it has virtually the same coverage except for reimbursement of part of the part b deductible a perk that is no longer included in any plans offered to medicare newbies as of 2020 you're no longer grandfathered and you're out of that benefit newbie people newbies and the oldies 
So the average plan G should be cheaper than plan F. However, costs vary widely according to an ap applicant's zip code, gender, and tobacco use, and they increase with age. They're always prejudiced against those tobacco users. Which plan is best? Here's the short answer. If you want 100% coverage of everything, uh, an F or G plan, depending on your eligibility, is your choice. The other plans offer progressively less coverage for lower upfront costs, as you would expect the trade-off between the two. For a more detailed answer, you can do one of the following. Speak with a qualified insurance agent or Medicare Advantage to find the plan that fits you. Read the Medicare publication choosing a Medigap policy where you'll find descriptions of each policy type and what it covers. Now we got to consider the Medigap versus the Medicare Advantage now because we've got that comparison going head to head, toe to toe, Medi to Medi, Gap to Care. Medigap policy is a supplement to your original Medicare coverage that pays expenses that, or that original Medicare doesn't cover. A, uh, a Medicare Advantage plan, Medicare Part C, in other words, is a private replacement for, uh, for the public Medicare program. So most of these plans are set up as health maintenance organizations, those are the, the good old HMOs, that replace all of the services of uh, original Medicare and add additional services such as preventative health care within a pre-selected network of doctors and hospitals. A Medigap plan will probably give you more freedom of choice than Medicare Advantage, providing your physician or facility accepts Medicare. So it is a better option for snowbirds or others who travel a great deal or have homes in more than one location. So in other words, as we've seen in the past, one of the issues with the HMOs is you got that whole network situation. So if you're moving around uh, a lot, that could be somewhat of a restriction on the HMO. So is my spouse covered? Uh, no, no, your spouse isn't covered because this is because we're moving from like a, a, like an employer type of thing where you can have your you know other people on it and stuff when you go through the insurance to the Medicare stuff, which is by age. So your spouse could be like 20 or something like that, which probably not for most people, unless you're like, like an actor or something. I don't know. But yeah, it could happen and they wouldn't be covered because you usually have to be over the threshold typically. So in any case, no, a Medigap policy covers only one person and doesn't cover expenses incurred by your spouse. Medicare isn't like an employer sponsor plan. You can't enroll your spouse under your coverage. This means you and your spouse have to purchase separate plans to be covered for supplemental insurance. Can my plan be canceled? No, that's illegal. As long as you pay your premiums, your policy is renewable for the rest of your life, which is nice because that's what I need here. My life might not be lasting all that long. You know, time's ticking here. So I need this one kicking in for the rest of it. You can't be pulling the rug out from under me so close to my right at this point. You can only be dropped if any of the following apply. You stop paying the premiums. Well, that kind of makes sense. You lied on your original Medigap application. Okay, I guess. The company uh, goes bankrupt. Well, that wouldn't be good. Hope that doesn't happen. If you choose to cancel your Medigap policy, you must do so by contacting the insurance company directly. The CARES Act of 2020, have you heard about it? On March 27, 2020, President Trump signed into law a two trillion coronavirus emergency stimulus package called the CARES Coronavirus Aid, Relief and Economic Securities Act. It expands Medicare's ability to cover treatment and services for those affected by COVID-19. The CARES Act also increases flexibility for Medicare to cover telehealth services so the doctor can tell you to can tell you to do strange and unusual and embarrassing things over over a webcam instead of in person. So authorizes the Medicare certification for home health services by physician assistants, nurse practitioners, and certified nurse specialists. 
uh, increases Medicare payments for COVID-19 related hospital stays and durable medical equipment. The changes will likely continue into 2022 or whenever the pandemic ends. How much does Medigap cost, you might ask? Since Medigap is uh, privatized, privatized insurance, each insurance company offers different premiums for its Medigap policies. So the, obviously the answer is there. It depends. The good old it depends answer. The price might be determined by a number of factors like your age, uh, inflation, or how long you've been enrolled. Why do I need Medigap? Medigap policy supplements your original Medicare coverage covering more expenses. Medigap provides more choice and covers a larger network of healthcare providers than other options. If you travel or need coverage that original Medicare doesn't provide, Medigap might be a good option for you. Is my spouse covered by Medicap? No. Medicap only covers one person. Both spouses will need to purchase separate plans.